Ever wonder who the 17th rank witch hunter Hinvorn II is and what his journey entails? Delve into the enigma that is Hinvorn II, a character shrouded in mystery and intrigue. With a strength of 17, he can throw distances of 12, 17, even 27. His reflexes, rated at 15, give him an evasion score of 14, making him a swift and elusive adversary. His intellect and charisma, both impressive at 14 and 15 respectively, are complemented by his genetic makeup, a robust 16, which gifts him a resilience of 23, potentially reaching up to 30. Such a combination of attributes makes him a formidable witch hunter, feared and respected by many. Hin's combat abilities are equally impressive, his ballistic attack stands at 31, his throwing attack at 32, and his melee attack at 33. His defense, a solid 23, ensures he can withstand any onslaught. But these attributes are somewhat hampered by his choice of armor, a decision that has led to a slight decrease in these combat scores. At the age of 37, Hin has a reasonable stealth, boasting a score of 22, and his perception is sharp at 16. These skills, coupled with his natural attributes, mean he can usually see without being seen, a hunter who can detect and eliminate witches with unerring precision. As a witch hunter, he is constantly thrown into situations that challenge him in every possible way, but with his skills and attributes, he never backs down. He faces every challenge head-on, with courage and unwavering determination, armed with his skills and attributes, Hin Vorn. The second's journey as a witch hunter is nothing short of extraordinary. He is more than just a rank and a name. He is a symbol of resilience and determination, a beacon for all those who dare to tread the path of the witch hunter. What does a 17th rank witch hunter carry for his battles? Let's delve into the details, shall we? Hin Vorn II, as a seasoned witch hunter, knows the importance of a strong defense. His armor is an intricate layering of force fields, crystalline repulsion fields, and repulsion fields. Each serves a unique role. The force fields provide an additional layer of protection, while the repulsion fields work on metal. But the true marvel here is the immaculate grade Amythium plate. This armor, known for its superior durability and strength, is further enhanced by projected force fields on the forearms and dia shields. Now let's shift our focus to the offensive. Hinvorn's choice of weaponry reflects his understanding of this reality. His Hisargium Silo Pistol, for instance. This high-tech firearm, firing ultra-high explosive rockets, can deal devastating damage to an adversary from afar. But what about when the enemy gets close? That's where the projectile blast sword comes into play. This isn't your average sword. It's a Hisargium engineered weapon, equipped with an extremely high pressure compression bump pack. This means that, in addition to its cutting edge, it can also unleash a powerful blast, making it a dual threat in close combat situations. It's important to note, though, that Hin Vorn's might isn't solely derived from his armor and weaponry. His strength, reflexes, and intellect all play a part in his ability to effectively wield these tools in battle. So when you think of Hin Vorn II, imagine a man clad in advanced armor armed with powerful high-tech weapons and ready to face any threat that comes his way. With such powerful armor and weaponry, Hin Vorn II is always ready for any encounter. Beyond weapons, what equipment does Hin Vorn II possess for his witch hunting missions? Well, let's delve into his impressive arsenal of essential equipment. First up, we have the Bedouin Slave Transposer. This handy device is capable of transporting Hin a staggering distance of up to 1200 meters in a single bound, making it an invaluable tool for rapid movements, whether it's to close the gap on a target or to make a hasty retreat. Next on the list is the Messiah Series XA, a state-of-the-art piece of tech that offers a whopping edifence of 58 and a perception of 36. This device is equipped with an 8-output head-up display, or HUD, which provides Hin with critical information at a glance and the ability to trigger and use accessories, drones, or weapons that lock on. Now let's talk about the HUD-controlled tri-armband injector. This gadget is loaded with ebb and speed, a potent concoction that boosts Hin's reflexes exponentially. Imagine the advantage of having your reactions enhanced in the heat of battle. Speaking of enhancements, Hin also carries the high-grade stalwart injection. This powerful booster grants Hin an impressive durability boost, allowing him to withstand even the most punishing of attacks. Rounding off our list is the liquid energy. These vials of concentrated vitality can restore substantial health points, with each dose capable of healing anywhere from 20 to 30 points of health. These little vials can mean the difference between life and death. Moreover, 
Hin also carries the camouflaged individual shelter and stimulant powder in his kit. These items provide him with protection from harsh environments and keep him alert during long, grueling hunts. These are the tools that keep Hin Vorn II alive and successful in his dangerous profession. Each piece of equipment is a for preparedness and adaptability in a world fraught with peril. Hin Vorn II, Skills. In the treacherous realm of witch hunting, a unique blend of skills is required to survive, let alone thrive. Hinborn II, rank 17th, is a master of this deadly art, possessing a lethal and diverse skill set. At the heart of his arsenal are the witch hunter skills. These are the bread and butter of any witch hunter, providing the fundamental knowledge and techniques required to track, engage, and neutralize magicians. These skills are the foundation upon which all his other abilities are built. But Hinborn doesn't stop at the basics. He's also a practitioner of Iaijutsu, a martial art that emphasizes swift, decisive strikes. This skill allows him to draw and strike with his weapon in a single, fluid motion, catching his foes off guard and often ending battles before they even begin. Hinborn also has the ability to disarm his opponents, a skill that can turn the tide of any fight. By disarming a witch, he can neutralize her powers, rendering her vulnerable to his attacks. This skill is particularly useful when facing powerful witches who rely heavily on their magical abilities. Rampage is another skill in his arsenal. This ability allows him to unleash a flurry of attacks in a short span of time, overwhelming his opponents with sheer ferocity and speed. Coupled with his acrobatics and quick draw skills, Rampage makes Hin Vorn a whirlwind of destruction on the battlefield. Last but not least, Hin Vorn possesses an exceptional weapon skill, specifically with the projectile blast sword. This proficiency allows him to wield this complex weapon with ease, turning it into an extension of his own body. His skill with this weapon is such that he can take on multiple opponents at once, dispatching them with deadly precision. But it's not just these individual skills that make Hin Vorn a formidable witch hunter, it's the way he combines them creating a symphony of destruction that leaves his enemies with no chance of survival. With these skills at his disposal, Hin Vorn II is adept at navigating the dangerous world of witch hunting. So, what are some of Hin Vorn II's most notable encounters? Let's investigate the annals of his history and uncover some of the thrilling encounters that have shaped Hin Vorn's journey in becoming a formidable witch hunter. His tactical use of ballistic attacks and strategic defensive stances were crucial in overcoming many challenging adversaries. Then, there was the time he crossed paths with the airborne Jet Ranger, a nimble and elusive opponent. Hin had to rely on his stealth and observation skills along with his trusty Hisargium weapons to outwit and subdue the warrior. In the murky depths of the ocean, Hin encountered a seaborne warrior, a marine soldier with unparalleled agility and strength. Hin, not one to back down from a challenge, engaged the warrior in a nerve-wracking underwater battle, making use of his maritime tech skills and his innate resilience. Among his more unconventional encounters was with the cybernetic soldier, a fusion of man and machine. The combat was intense, and Hin had to rely heavily on his knowledge of electronics and robotics tech to find a weakness and exploit it. His encounters were not limited to just warriors and soldiers. Hin also faced off against various witches and demonologists, seductive and dangerous, each with their unique powers and tricks. His witch hunter skills were put to the ultimate test, especially his ability to disarm and his proficiency in the Dance of the Six Blades. Each of these encounters, whether with the vigilante in the shadowed alleyways or the grenadier in the war-torn fields, shaped Hin Vorn in some way. They tested his strength, his character, forcing him to hone his skills and harden his resolve. Each encounter further tests Hin Vorn II's skills and fortitude, shaping him into the seasoned witch hunter he is today. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey of Hin Vorn II. Born with exceptional genetics, Hin Vorn was destined for greatness. His strength and reflexes honed through rigorous training, coupled with his innate charisma, primed him to be the formidable witch hunter he is today. His journey wasn't easy, it was filled with intense battles and thrilling encounters. His encounters with witches and demonologists, seductive yet dangerous, tested his resolve and strengthened his purpose. Over time, Hin Vorn evolved, not just in his physical prowess but also in his intellectual capacity. 
he became a master of combat strategies developing a keen eye for observation and detection. His resilience in the face of adversity is awe-inspiring. Indeed, the journey of Hinvorn II is one of spiritual darkness, hunting witches and safeguarding those on earth from magic, good and ill.